hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see node grid integration with postgresql database okay so using the node grid hub you can connect with postgresql cloud database to create the table delete the table insert the data and display the data on the dashboard so we are going to run the select query we will fetch the result and we will display that result into the node red dashboard okay so that thing we are going to cover in this video and if you want this node red flow then you can click here and you can get the node red flow it's publicly available so you can copy the json from here otherwise you can copy the json from here and you can directly use it in your node red okay now let's see the node red flow and our pg admin which is having our PostgreSQL database. So this is our node red flow. This section is to create the table. This section is to delete the table. This section is to insert the data into our table. And this section is to select the data from our table and to display it on the node red dashboard. Okay. Now I have created this uh, PostgreSQL virtual lab using this virtual labs.online and if you want to create the same virtual lab then you can you know watch this video to create the same virtual lab for your learning testing and development now here is my PostgreSQL uh, database detail and here is my PG admin details which I am accessing right now okay now in the node red you have to install one package okay which is node red contrib PostgreSQL. Okay, so you have to install this package node red country PostgreSQL to have this node. Now I have just drag and drop this timestamp node from here. Okay, so you just have to drag and drop this inject node. That's it. I haven't modified any of the timestamp node. Okay, all the modification has been done in the PostgreSQL node. Now we want to create the table. Okay, so we are going to see the configuration inside it. So here we have to provide the query. So create table sensor data. The first column is ID. Okay, second column is temperature and the third column is humidity and the fourth column is the current timestamp. Okay, now in the server you have to provide your PostgreSQL server details. So here I have already created one server. Now let me show you the uh, details which we have provided here. So the name is PostgreSQL database. Now in the host ID, you have to provide the IP address of your PostgreSQL database. Now here you can see we have the public IP address. So I'm going to copy this IP address and I'm going to paste it here. We are going to use the default port 5432 and here we are going to provide the database name so here you can see database name is my database and in the pg admin also you can see database name is my database so i'm going to copy it okay and that we will provide here now in the security we have to provide the username and password so username you will get it from here and the password you will get it from here okay so here is the my user which is username and my password is the password and in the pool section, you have to left everything as it is. So this is how you have to configure this PostgreSQL config node. Okay. Now I'm going to update it. Okay. And this is our PostgreSQL node. So this is the node to create the table. And here we have provided the query to create the table. And here is the server details. So I'm going to press on done. Okay. And I'm going to press control D to deploy my flow now in the pg admin we have a question where we can see the table okay so you have to expand your database you have to again expand your databases and then you have to expand my databases inside that you have this schema so you have to expand it and uh, in the public section here we have the tables okay so right now we don't have any tables here so what we can do is we can inject this and we can create the table okay so i'm going to inject it you can see successfully injected q is one the output is empty so it means our table is successfully created now i can go to pg admin i can right click on the table and i can click on refresh and here you can see sensor data table is created now i can right click i can view the first hundred row okay and here is my table structure you can see the first column is id second column is temperature third column is humidity and the fourth column is date and time okay so this is how you can use node red to create your 
uh, PostgreSQL table if you have your PostgreSQL database. After that, we want to delete the table. Okay, so again, we are going to use the same node. And here we have already modified this uh, PostgreSQL config node, so we don't have to modify it again. And what we have to modify is our query. So we want to delete the table sensor data if it exists. Okay, so this is the query for that. And what we can do is we can just inject it. And here you can see the queue is one, the output is empty. So query is successfully executed. Now we can go to the PG admin. We can right click on the table and we can refresh. And here you can see we don't have any tables now. So we have successfully deleted the table using this section okay now we have to create the table again to perform the insert queries okay so we have successfully created the table i can go to pg admin i can click on refresh okay and here you can see we have the sensor data table is available and here i can see the data okay now here is the insert uh, node so we will insert our data into the sensor data table and here is the values okay so we are going to add only two data temperature and humidity the id will automatically update it and the date time will be automatically updated as per the current time okay so we just have to add two things here which is our temperature and humidity and again we don't have to modify this postgresql uh, db server configuration okay because we have already updated initially so that's it we can you know inject it and here you will see q1 and we have the empty output and again we can run this query select everything from public dot sensor data okay and here we have our data so id is one temperature humidity and the date time okay if you want to again uh, do the insert then we can do that so i'm going to change 24 to 23 and 56 to 57 that's it i can deploy my flow i can again insert it okay the queue is one the output is empty and i can again run this query here and here you can see we have our data so this is how you can use node red to insert the data into your postgresql database now what we want to do is we want to uh, fetch this data and we want to display it on our dashboard so let me open our node red dashboard so here is the dashboard okay here is our table right now we don't have any data in this table because we haven't injected this node because this node will select the data okay so basically this node will run this query okay without any limit so it will run this query and whatever data it will fetch it will populate the data on my dashboard so here you can see select star from sensor data so it will select everything from the sensor data table and it will publish the data on my table on my node red dashboard so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to inject it okay also you can see the output of this debug for here so i'm going to inject it okay and here you can see we have the two object the first object is the first row and the second object is the second row okay and it will directly accept this format and it will display the data here you can see the id temperature humidity and the date time or you can say the timestamp okay so this is how you can use node red to integrate with postgresql database you can also log your data into your cloud PostgreSQL database. You can also fetch the data. You can display it on your Node Red dashboard. You can create the table, delete the table as per your requirement. Okay. So I hope this thing is clear that how you can integrate your Node Red with the PostgreSQL databases. So we have uh, learned that how you can create the table, how you can delete the table, how you can insert the data into the table, and how you can select the data from table, and how you can display it on the Node Red dashboard okay and this flow is freely available so you can just click here on the code okay and it will navigate to you the node red website and here is the flow which we have uploaded so you can directly copy the json and you can directly use it now uh, once you use it you just have to modify your details okay for postgresql database so basically you have to modify the host name database name and your username and the password 
okay so only four things you have to modify and the fifth thing is your query so whatever query you want to run whatever table you want to create you have to modify the query accordingly okay so i hope everything is clear about node integration with the postgresql database and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can feel free to ask me on the comment section on the email or you can also ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere all the social media link is available on our website okay so let's meet in the future videos and in the future videos we are going to integrate our node red with mysql database so again i'm going to create the virtual lab of mysql database using this virtual lab start online and we will integrate our node red with that mysql database okay so let's meet in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you